Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, I'll tell you how I really screwed up my arm with an iPhone. Story Sunday starts now. From St. Paul, Minnesota, it's time for Story Sundays with Matt Shaw. Today's story is... And now, here's your host, Matt Shaw. Hey kids, welcome to episode 4 of Story Sundays. Even though I can't see you through this computer screen, you're all looking wonderful and it's very nice to have you back. This Tuesday marks the two-year anniversary of when I broke my arm. Uh, it's a story that people love to make fun of me for. It's probably the mecca of all Mad Shock stories. They will cancel Story Sundays after this episode because no story will ever live up to this one. It was April 14th, 2012, my brother's birthday. My father was having his 49th birthday party that night, and I had just turned 21 in December, so it was my first time being invited to hang out with my dad and drink. And of course, what kind of kid isn't going to go out and party with his father for the first time? There was only one problem. We had a fraternity retreat that weekend. So the chances that I was going to get to go to this party were slim to none. And I got to Wilderness, and I had told my dad that I wasn't coming, and it was awful. And I just kept thinking, please, please let there be something that gets me out of this so that I can go and surprise my dad at his party and have a really good time. And sure enough, whoever is in charge of the weather up there decided that I should really be going to this party. Because they decided to send a storm right for where we were camping. We decided that we weren't safe staying there and that we had to come back. So I rushed back home to my dorm and I swallowed a couple drinks and I had my mom and stepdad come pick me up and we went downtown to Brit's pub where the party was being held and we found my dad and the night began. I had many cocktails my father had many cocktails. My father's friends had many cocktails. We hung out, had fun, masqueraded, chatted, socialized, and uh, the party started winding down. My dad, one of his best friends, Katie, and I were talking about what we were going to do, and somehow we got on to talking about how I had never been to the gay 90s. So we decided that we would leave Brits and go check out the gay 90s. We were all fairly intoxicated, or at least my dad and I were. So we were walking over there. We got to an intersection and the light was red. When I have had alcohol, I enjoy texting. And so the light turned green. We started to walk across the street. I was still just texting away, probably correcting many spelling mistakes and things of that nature. And uh, we got to a curb. My dad and Katie stepped over it, fine, like normal human beings. But I was so focused on my phone that I tripped going up the curb. And I fell. So I went down. And of course I happened to fall in front of two police officers who came and helped me up. And one of them said to my dad, I don't really know much, but it looks like he broke his arm. Slowly but surely, I could tell that something wasn't right. Something didn't feel right. We decided to take a cab over to the hospital. So we get in the cab. I look at my phone, and my phone screen is completely cracked. Like, because I was holding my phone in my hand, I fell. Phone hit the pavement. Obviously, it's cracked. My dad asked if I was okay and if it was starting to hurt. And the first thing I said was, oh my God, mom's going to be pissed at me because I broke my phone. 
I was more concerned about my cell phone and not being able to text people. <laughs> oh my god. So as we're driving to the hospital, I think was when I kind of started to sober up, and it really stung, like, bad. So we went to HCMC, and so early the morning of the 15th, I went into surgery. They took some x-rays. If you're sensitive, you definitely want to look away. This is a picture of an x-ray of a normal arm, what an arm should look like. And this one is what I did to my arm. Both bones just shattered. So they put a bunch of plates and bolts and things in it. And I have two lovely scars. This one and then the one... I mean, it works just as good as it did before. And uh, I get to say that I'm part cyborg, which is... Pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. Don't walk and text. It's stupid. Don't even carry your phone with you when you're walking anywhere, because then you'll just be tempted. And besides, who do you need to contact? So yeah, that was how I broke my arm texting. And uh, I'm pretty embarrassed about it. That will just about do it. I have to go find a story that's going to top this. But I'm up for the challenge. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Sit right there. I'll tell you how I really screwed up my arm with an iPhone. Sorry, son. What is the name of this show? So really... Is there an... I just wanted my scar to show.